Welcome to Channel Road to Chaos. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Flash document clickable. Now here I have got an SWF file embedded on my website, all right, which is now clickable. So as you can plainly see, the arrow changes as I go upon the Flash document. Now if I right-click on it, as you can plainly see, it says Adobe Flash. So it is a Flash document. Now if I click on it, it will load up a website, all right. So this is what I'm going to show you to you: how to make and flash document clickable. Now you can all make it clickable by just adding a href anchor tag or anything like that. So you're going to need some software and a simple code that I will provide it to you later in this video. So what you're going to need is is an Adobe Flash software. Now you can download it for a free trial of 30 days from the Adobe's website. Uh, you can get the CS5 or the CS6 whichever you want. I'm using the CS5. All right. So what we're gonna do is launch Adobe Flash. All right. Choose the Action Script 3.0. This rectangular box will appear. All you're gonna do is go here on the right size in the properties of that document and adjust the size of it. Now this is dependent on you. I want a size of 250 by 250. You might need something else like 725 by 90. So make sure you put the appropriate size over here. I'm going to put uh, 250 by 250 as I told you before. All right, 250 by 250. Now what you're going to do is choose a color. I'm going to choose black because the background of my uh, flash document is black. So I'm going to choose black over here. I'm just going to align it so it looks good. All right. Now what you're going to do is create a new layer. So you go down here and press new layer. Now you choose the first layer and press file import import to stage and choose the document the SWF document over here so if I press open it will load up the SWF file and as I move the frames you will see that the animation occurs correspondingly so now that we have done all this all you need to do is go to the layer 1 click on the first uh, keyframe over here and press insert new symbol alright now this window will open give it a name I'm gonna name it button I would recommend you to keep the same name so there will be no confusion at all okay now name it button and choose the type button if you don't choose this it wouldn't work okay so make sure that you choose it button and press OK now your entire screen will go black now what you wanna do is go ahead and choose a rectangular tool and draw a rectangle anywhere all right make sure that the rectangle is bigger than your ad all right so drop it like that but it should be bigger than your canvas make sure that because you want to make the entire document clickable and not just a part of it so make sure you make it as big as possible all right like that is really uh, enough now what you want to do is choose on the second frame and press insert keyframe and choose on the third frame and press insert keyframe now we are almost done we, all we need to do is press scene 1 alright so our uh, SWF document will be appeared again on the screen now what you wanna do is take the button from the library and drag it on the top of our ad like that so you will see that there is a square box on our ad which is a good thing now the thing is if I go one keyframe ahead the box disappears so I want that box to appear till the end so what you can do is go to the last frame and press on the second layer make sure it's on the second layer and press right click and insert keyframe so now the frame would appear till the end of the flash document so we are almost done here so I'm gonna show you a preview uh, go to file publish and flash so as you can plainly see if you go on the top the symbol changes up your let's say your your mouse changes so that means it is clickable but if I click on it nothing occurs because we haven't assigned a link to it so now we need to assign a link so to assign a link to it, all you need to do is click on the first frame, okay, of the layer two, go to Windows, Action, and here what you need to do is paste a code. 
Now the pa the code is put in the description, so you can go ahead and copy it from there. So I'm just gonna copy it and paste it over here. All right, this is the code that you need to input uh, or in this document over here. So it's in the description. You can go ahead and copy it from there. Now make sure where it says the link. Uh, where you have a, where it says google.com make sure you put it in your website or the desired link that you want to go to when we click on the flash document I'm gonna put in I'm gonna leave it as it is google.com you can put absolutely anything else now you need to come down here and copy this okay this is the name of your instance so just copy this and close this document all right now click on the button okay once click on it once and make sure where it says instance name paste the name that we just copied which is drcaos alright so we are done here now you can just press file publish preview and in flash and if I click on it it will take me to google.com it's really that simple so now let's go back to the document and close this and now in order to export this just press file export export movie and give it a name and save it as whatever you want I'm going to say it is add and SWF is selected make sure that is selected and press save and you're done so this is all you need to do so anyway this has been the channel to chaos I hope you like this video rate comment subscribe thank you very much